and wild animals be used to show us if male reproduction is at risk. Male reproduction is declining. There is a decrease in sperm count and an increase in testicular cancer. There is also an increase in genital abnormalities in baby boys. Here in front of you, you see products that surround us and our children in our everyday life. It's canned food that may contain uh, bisphenol A. It's lotion that may contain parabens. It's t-shirts with plastic bits that may contain phthalates. And it's curtains that may contain flame retardants, all chemicals known to affect the reproduction. One way of addressing this problem is to have a look in the wild, to have a look at the mink. The mink resemble a lot like us. They are at the top of the food chain where the chemicals are accumulating. They are also exposed to the same chemical cocktail as we are, as the chemicals they leak out in their environment. And if you want to have a closer look at how the, uh, the cocktail effect affects our reproduction, the mink test is, is a good place to have a closer look. But there's a problem when using uh, wild animals for research. The, and the mink, they are caught in traps and shot by hunters in the forest far away from the lab where we can have a closer look at the cells in the mink test. So how does this long transfer time affect our cells and affect our results? To find out, we set up a study where we use normal healthy mink and we put them in different groups with different times between the animals were killed until we could have a look at the cells in the microscope to find out how this affects it. Uh, and what we found was that some measures in the mink testes, they were robust. So they did not change, even though the transfer time was long for a long time. But some measures, they were not robust. And they changed already after six hours. And they changed in a way that could be misjudged as toxic damage. So to answer the question, if we can use wild animals as the mink to show us if male reproduction is at risk. I would say yes, it's a good idea to use the mink and to have a closer look at the mink testes. But we need to have control of our methods. We need to know what we are looking at so we know which measures in the mink testes that are robust and which measures that are less robust. And so and put that in contrast to how long transfer time we have so we don't misjudge our results. Thank you, Lord. That was actually perfect on time. Um, great. Uh, I don't. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I don't only like. I don't. <laughs> well, what I'm trying to say is, is this huge in my head and huge in my mouth. Okay, let's go on uh, with the the uh, voting. Uh, yeah, yeah, but let's call it voting. <laughs> <laughs> so the jury's verdict. Okay, thank you, Eleanor. It was a very nice presentation. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was a good story. I think you made your point very clear. Talking about uh, fertility in men, I think that's a very good starter. Uh, perfect. It does show a lot of people here listening extra carefully. So that's great. Half of them, at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I also think you clearly pointed out the everyday life of the researcher, that we really have to think of, are we using the proper method and are we using it in the right way? Can we trust our research? And I think you did it in a good way. Yeah, and we also appear very confident in your lecture. And what I really love is someone who does not rely upon PowerPoint presentation. You have this last one slide which you talked and said, and you rely on telling the story verbally. This is what I really would like to see more of. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Uh, I, I will tell you, uh, you were very good with your gestures, and I felt that you were in the moment, and you had uh, 
strong team so we stopped it and uh, it, it kind of blew it but it, if I could say something about uh, how I would rather see it maybe getting more to the people if you're really angry at people if you are in a positive mood <laughs> tell it with a smile or tell it with a different kind of anger why is this like this why should, why should you have this and why should you not so uh, I thought that at first that you were in, in, the, in, the, in the moment where you tried and then Thank you. Now it, it's your turn. Are you ready with your phones and your post-it? So remember, one is much worse than five. So please vote. 